Hello everyone. So being new in research, we often end up submitting our work in some journals or conferences which do not have much value and that we realize later on. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can find out the best journals and conferences for your research work. So let's dive into it. So now you're currently seeing my screen and let us go to Chrome and here let's go to Google first. Okay. And let's go to Core Conference Ranking. Let's say Core Conference Portal. So if you go here, so this is the platform which I personally follow while checking for good journals and conferences where I should submit my research work. For example, I perform research in software engineering. So if I want to know good journals in software engineering, I would simply type in software or let's say just software over here and press search. So now this gives me the complete list of journals. Uh, so currently it is it is journals and conferences both or only journals. Yeah, so this is the conference portal. So currently it is showing me different conferences. Let me just rank them. So I have sorted them according to the rank. And now it is showing me the best conferences. So how do you know which conference is the best? So the ranking you can see over here. A star is the one which is the best uh, which is known to be the best ranking and then comes the a conference a level conferences then b and then c so on the right hand side of the screen they are uh, giving you the detail about this core ranking and how they rank it so for example if i let's suppose go to this ase I am also able to see the different rankings uh, in different years. So for example, Automated Software Engineering Conference had the rank of rank A in uh, year 2020 and in 2021. In this year, it has got the rank. It has been upranked to A star. So similarly, you can check for other conferences. So from here, you get an idea of that. Yes, you should prefer probably the a star conferences first and then a conferences and then b and so on now similarly you could do for journals so if you just go to the search journals position and this now takes you another page of core ranking where you can search for journals so for example now if i type software and i press search and i again rank it okay it's already ranked uh, on that level no so if I just press this again, so now it has sorted all of them in the form of ranks. And this is the complete list of the best journals in, a, in my area uh, and that too on the basis of their ranks. So do not ever go for a conference or journal which uh, basically does not have a position in these two pages or in another port portal that I'm going to uh, just tell you about, which is SJR. So these two are very prominent, uh, you can say, search positions, search portals for journals and conferences. So this is scientific journal ratings, scientific journal rankings. Sorry. Yeah. Now, here you can again search according to your subject areas, categories and so on. So if I go for subject areas, and I go for engineering. Then under engineering. For example, if I go for electrical and electronics engineering. Then this gives me the complete list of the best journals in this area. 
Now, in this uh, in this particular portal, the Q1 ranked uh, journals are the best. Now, apart from searching like this, you can also search directly. For example, if I try to search the same journal which was shown over here, which is ACM Transaction on Software Engineering and Methodology. So if I, let's say, search it over here, or if I search for ACM Transactions on Software Engineering, we have it here. It will give me its edge index and the particular ranking of, uh, sorry, it is giving for ACM transactions on software engineering and methodology. So it will give me the complete edge factor, edge index and its uh, ranking. So currently uh, it will also give you the impact factor if you go on and if you check it over here. Now this is currently a Q2 level journal. Okay, and this is the impact factor of uh, it according to uh, year 2020. Now, similarly, if I check for ACM transactions on software, if I just search this, let's check what comes in. Yeah, we have another one over here. ACM transactions on mathematical software and it has H index of 87. And similarly, the software part is having a better ranking over here with Q1 level. So this is a Q1 level a journal, so a slightly better than the previous one. So in this manner, you can search it from here or you should go to the particular journal page. But that too, I would prefer that ACM, uh, if you go for ACM transactions, uh, then check for the particular at the particular website what is the impact factor in everything given. For example, if I go to ACM transactions software engineering, I guess it is off software engineering, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so if we go to this ACM transactions on software engineering and methodology. And this is the complete details of citation count, publication count, and so on, average citations per year. So uh, you could find the uh, extended details on the particular journal pages, but broadly, this is what you should be doing while checking for the journals. Now, next comes the question of how do I know which journal, you know, fits closely to my research topic or to my research paper. For that, you need to go to the particular uh, topics which the uh, journal is focusing. For example, in this context, if I am, let's say, targeting ACM transactions on software engineering and methodology, I would first go and check about so these are some latest topics from the latest issue. You could also check if your area or your research paper is related to the topics shown over here. Or you should go to, uh, let's check for about. So this is about TOSUM uh, latest. Uh, so they have about authors. If you go over here, yeah, the call for papers thing. So always, always check for the call for papers. There they give the complete things that they require. And also scope, sometimes they also mention the scope of the paper. So for example, over here, they have some uh, special issues for which they have uh, given the call for papers. And here they mention the specific topics, as you can see right now the specific to uh, topics in which they are interested. So they say this open special section of TOSUM looks at both directions and the topics of interest include but are not limited to these topics, which topics, let's say ethical implications of AI, SE, software engineering processes and metrics uh, applied to AI system development. AI for fault prediction and so on. So this is the method how you need to check whether your uh, topic is fitting into the particular journal. Now, different journals have 
basically a different web page and this thing can be found at different sections of that journals but essentially it comes into the head under the headings of call for papers or its uh, scope or uh, what are the topics that they are interested in so that kind of content but you always need to make sure that you are submitting your research at a correct uh, location don't submit somewhere which does not have much value and later on it ends up resulting into a research which does not have much impact or your research paper does not have much impact or much value for your resume so that's all for this session uh, i hope this video did help you in case it did please press the like icon below uh, also, if you're the first one who's viewing my channel for the first time, do subscribe to it. We have lots of lots of content at Ritu Kapoor classes and we are now a family of 11k subscribers. We are fastly growing and I am adding, I'm thinking of adding some new kinds of content related to research and uh, some diverse areas. So stay tuned for uh, the updates and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated with my latest videos. I'll be back with some more interesting sessions. Till then, stay tuned. Keep learning. Thank you.